Everyone wants to get better at airsoft, but we don't know how to do it. So Fox, how can we, especially me, get better at airsoft? <laughs> so, okay, if I had to think about it, right, obviously the what everyone's going to say is practice, right? But let's forget that, okay? The best way to be better is to make yourself a small target <laughs> or a hard-to-hit target, okay? <laughs> so what I mean by that is nine times out of ten when you're having engagement with another player, you spot someone, like, you'll be peeking out and you might be exchanging fire back and forth till one of you hits each other from behind cover. What I was taught in the reserves is never to stick up in the same place. Twice, right? Especially if you're in engagement. So basically, pop high, then pop low, or pop left and right at the and, and keep mixing it up, you know. And, if you're and you know what you never do, you never pop up. Because that's how you get domed. <laughs> every time. Especially especially if I'm on the enemy team, because yeah. that's when I will definitely kill you with a single shot. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean if you right out of the gate first time playing, you just like have that in the back of your head. Don't like you stick your head out, someone shoots at you, but they miss you. Stick your head out again, you're just looking for it. You're gonna die. And if I get on the enemy team, I will hit you the second time. He will. And this is coming from Fox himself. He will outfox you. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, that's how I, I that's how I, 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 get, I shoot someone I'm sniping. It's like, they stick the head out and they go back in. Then I just hover that crosshair right around where they were the last time. And nine times out of ten, they'll come back out. Whack. Yeah. They're gone. Game over. So, like, if it's the guys that don't come out, they come out low and they come out high, or they sprint across, or better yet, they come out, suppress me. So, like, if you having that exchange back and forth, say you come out and you shoot and they tuck in move to another piece of cover so when they come out they think you're still there but you're not you're another piece of cover and you got a better line of fire on them and you just nail them so it's all about like watching what the other player is doing seeing learning patterns making sure you aren't doing any patterns like try but to be random don't be basically. predictable and absolutely and like if you suppressing someone is a great time to move position when they when they tuck in take that opportunity now it can be a risk because they can catch you on the hop but you have to be thinking about where can i get to that's slightly different that's safe don't follow patterns yourself try and learn the enemy's patterns because yeah. people do have passions and then you'll be a better player right without even without like not being a good shot or not having good gear it's all about that like i honestly could go out with a pistol a really terrible springer and I'd probably have good results because I I know that I know that and it's I know just how a tiny to move. Bolt and... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But like, it's about knowing how to move and when to move. So, airsoft is as much a game of chess as it's a game of skill. Like, if if you want to real results on the field, you know, it's it's all about thinking about your scenario that you're in. And so, at, what helps then afterwards, as I said, is practice. And that's that helps, you know, after the fact. But I mean, it's not the it's not about having the best guns, best gear. That won't make you a good player. It helps. Like, it will not make you. <laughs> it helps. It does help. It does help. But like, I wouldn't say it's as big a thing as people think it is. The amount of times people go onto my YouTube channel and they say, oh, pay to win. I think I was using that, like, pay to win. I was like, man, if you gave me a Springer, I'd destroy you on the field. <laughs> I'd like, I'd give you my gun. Give me a Springer. I'll still destroy you. Like, so it's not, like, it's, Guns and equipment help, but it's not the deciding factor. It's yeah. it's how you're thinking, how you're uh, how you're like perceiving the the situation you're in, and how you're. It's not about just like I was going to keep shooting at that person. Hopefully, I get him first. Like it's thinking outside the box. So kind of like some of that does come with experience, I guess. I mean, when a new player is on the field, they're probably were fairly overwhelmed that they yeah. had a bit of a fire. The adrenaline them. overload is insane. Whereas for me, like, I'd be very calm and relaxed and I'm able to think straight while shooting and while acting. And I'm like, hmm, I think You're actually... Like, did I, mean, I do the, the dishes? Firefight. Yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that helps. So you can come up with a plan while you're actually performing, you know. But Yeah. But a, a being aggressive is good too. Like, a lot of new players are going to be very shy and timid and stay too far back. But actually, you find out... Yeah. But if you actually get stuck in... um. You can push. It comes a you lot can of push. Yeah. 
Yeah. And worst like things that's going to happen is, is you're going to trade because if you're aggressive, you will get up to the enemy player and you'll trade. Yeah. And then by doing I've that, seen. your team will be able to move up because you will clear that one yeah. guy. Call me. All right, he's out. Everyone else is going to get it. Absolutely. And especially being aggressive is good when you have a game where the other team have lives and you have unlimited lives. Oh, like yeah. They're defending yeah. and you're doing attacking. Then your only thing should be like, let's just run in and run from lots of different angles. The only thing that goes against you then is just your own physical lack of being in shape. Because like I could run one life, but then running the next nine <laughs> lives like sprinting, it's like I'm almost forty. I'm yeah. not a sprinter. I, like I really give up my all. Like I would be dying. Like, I'm really objective driven. Like, oh, me too. Like I will. I, yeah. will, I will fall over. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> like you'll see me like and that's another part that's important actually is communication like, yeah if, if i'll often play on my own right i i won't play as part of group because i'm a sniper i kind of want to flank and do all this stuff but like if i get eyes on the tag or i get eyes on something that's important or there's a team in here i'll tell them everything they need to know yeah. right so it, it it it's just it's it's such a force multiplier yeah. Most players don't actually do that. Very few do. They need call outs. They're just call outs are king. Yeah. Like you win a so battle if, with uh, communication. I still don't want to hold. I still want to hold. Yeah, like if I'm reloading, like, and I want someone to cover me, or I want to make a big push up, and I have a brand new rental player there beside me, I'm like, stick out when I tell you, spray that top left window, and I'll use that player and. And then I'll I'll run, I'll sprint out and push to next position. Then I'll yeah. kill the guy in the window and then he'll move up to me. And he's a new player and and like you might have much skill, but but they love it and they just get into it. And it's all about that. Yeah, so like that's super important. Like and it it enhances your game. Oh yeah. Enhances everyone else's game. You have so much more fun. Like um so yeah. The guns and equipment don't really matter to like but they're things I would definitely do. Communicate, be unpredictable and try and think about not attacking people head on like try and work your way around shoot them in know. the side and stop yeah 